Philip Lowe isn't out the door as speculation builds about who will be the next RBA governor. Uh, it needs to be somebody who is independent, who has the best interests of the Australian public in mind. The opposition leader is hungry to rule out candidates to run the Reserve Bank, days before Dr Lowe's position is extended or, as seems more likely, a replacement is announced. Uh, we can't have somebody who has been appointed by uh, the Labor Party or indeed by uh, the coalition to a, a senior position within government. That's a problem. There's been a long-standing convention that both major parties support the selection of a governor for the independent institution. Mr Dutton's ultimatum would rule out two of the top candidates, Treasury Secretary Stephen Kennedy and Finance Department Secretary Jenny Wilkinson. Other candidates include the RBA's current Deputy Governor, Michelle Bullock, and the person she replaced, Guy DeBell. After a year of the fastest interest rate hikes on record, bank bosses were in Canberra explaining how customers are coping. Cost of living is a real challenge for many families as saving buffers are running down. We are acutely aware that many Australians are finding it difficult. A combination of the increase in the cash rate as well as uh, increases in rents um, would be feeling that pressure uh, you know, across the board or across sort of two thirds of the population. The amount Australians pay in interest on home loans is more than double what it was a year ago. When you look about the credit indicators that banks will typically report on, like the proportion of customers who are uh, not making their repayments or behind on their repayments, they remain at near record lows. In our book, credit quality remains sound and the level of stressed assets is at historical lows. Undermining that confidence, a seemingly unstoppable growth in increasingly sophisticated scams that trick customers into dealing with scammers purporting to be from the bank and using the ease of digital payments to quickly transfer huge sums of money. The criminals are still winning here, they're still getting the money. All we're, what we're discussing here is who should pay for it. Scams, cyber and fraud are the things that keep a CEO of a bank up at night. NAB boss Ross McEwen is calling on government, telecommunications companies and social media platforms to work together to stem the scourge of scams. This is a global epidemic that's hitting us and these are sophisticated, organised global criminals. The Commonwealth Bank is spending $230 million a year to stop scams and wants those other companies to step up. It's only going to be effective if other elements of the ecosystem also coordinate, cooperate and invest at similar levels. Otherwise, just dealing with it at the financial institution level is not going to solve the problem. In our biggest institutions, problems are something you can bank on.